I told you, a woman never dies in a wedding dress. There is a thin line between reality and dream. The period after the Lebanese Civil War was one of hope and change. I did not see the rebirth, however. I could only see the scars. Beirut homes and buildings riddled with bullet holes. Electricity wires that crisscrossed the city, pirated cable. The cloud of hashish that covered the sky, traffic. Traffic. People began to rebuild their lives. The war was being erased. Plastic and glass were in. Silicon replaced reality. In La Vie en Rose, our people were drowning. Just like their buildings, they were becoming sexy and alluring on the outside, but hollow and empty on the inside. People were so humiliated and broken from the war that the only thing they could do was to forget. And there were at least a million and one ways to be able to forget in Lebanon. They smoked and drank and snorted everything they could find. We wrote poetry. We jumped over fences into abandoned buildings and drank vodka under the stars. We parked on the corniche and made out. Love and sex and drugs and alcohol were our new law and order. In so many ways, the war never really ended. Our neighbors continued to drop bombs on us. In the year 2000, the Israeli army withdrew after having occupied the south of Lebanon for 22 years. Because of the occupation, until the year 2000, I had gone through my entire life without ever having visited the village of my ancestors, Hasbaya. What they don't tell you about bombs is how loud they are. Your whole house shakes. The windows rattle. The electricity may suddenly go off. You hear your neighbors screaming somewhere down the street. You lose people you love. I have a fever. I'm not sure how long I've been like this, and no one knows for sure what caused it. My mother sits beside my bed. She's trying to find God so that she may ask him to let me live. I have a fever. I'm jumping on top of the couch. I start singing from the top of my lungs. I'm hallucinating. It is an incredible rush. I'm sick, but I don't feel sick. I've beat death so many times. I have a fever. This time, I want it to last. His body is grinding up against mine. Our hips are joined. We're dancing in circles. In Beirut, I am delirious. I'm so far away from death. I cannot help but feel that I'm part of something much greater than this whore we call Beirut. The years from now, someone may not even be able to find Beirut on the map. She will be the lost city of Atlantis. She has built herself seven times, but how long can this charade go on? One day, it's all going to end. And when it does, it will be beautiful. I will walk down to the beach. Maya will already be there, waiting for me. The two of us will sit down and watch the last sunset. We will walk into the water, and I will not be afraid. Anything is better than war. Even death. Beirut is too big to wear a wedding dress. She cannot live forever. Beirut, I love you. I told you. Boya, Tirilu, 
I 